Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to another week in my life vlog as a third year dental student during 2020. So it is Monday. It is about 10, 13 in the morning. I woke up at around 8 a.m. and had breakfast, made coffee, took some painkillers because I have been having pain on the right side of my face for over three weeks now and we don't know what it is. Then I called my dentist or one of like the dentists in the military to see if I can get like an expedited endo appointment for endodontics because I need to know where this pain is coming from. So I was talking to the dentist on the phone for about an hour um, trying to triage this pain that I've been having um, and it's not very straightforward. I also have an appointment with my neurologist tomorrow so I'm hoping I can get some answers. But anyways, enough about this pain that I've been having for the past three weeks. After my phone appointment with the dentist, I had a Zoom appointment with my photographer. She was my wedding photographer and we looked through the photos that she took of Joseph and I, my new husband, on our wedding day last week. So I've been married for a week now and it was fun looking through these photos. Let me try to show you. I'll show you some of these photos. It is 11.30 now. Normally on Mondays, I have clinic in the afternoon starting at 1 p.m., but my dentist just called me back and was able to get me an appointment with the endodontist today at 3.15 p.m. today. So I won't be going to school because I really have to get this pain thing figured out because it's been so long. So I have a little bit of extra free time since I normally go to school at one and today I won't be going to the dentist until three. So I'm going to the mailbox. My plan is to go on a little walk to drop off some thank you cards from our wedding. And um, in the with the thank you cards, we also have announcements and I'm gonna show you what the announcement looks like. It looks like this. And we are also sending these covid friendly masks <laughs> they're cute it says e and j 2020 but we don't have too many of them so not everyone will be getting one mostly just people who sent gifts because there's just not that many masks but that's what i'll be up to this is what i'm having for lunch just a salad here's a chess board Usually Joseph and I play chess while we're having lunch together, but it's 12.30 and I'm super hungry and he's not coming home for lunch until 1 p.m. So I'm gonna eat my salad and then we'll play chess while he's eating his lunch. So how has clinic been? Thanks for asking. I just finished my first day of clinic. I'm like sweating, it's so hot. It was just so hot, oh my goodness. I just did treatment planning. I treatment planned for an implant I treatment plan for some facial class five restorations, uh, some buckle class five restorations and one occlusal restoration. So in a few weeks, hopefully I'll be uh, actually drilling into some teeth and restoring some teeth. So yay for my first day. I'm so sweaty, it's so hot, but I just wanted to document my first day as a third year. Today was pretty uneventful. All I did was assist for a profi Today I didn't have a patient. Today I just assisted a perio reeval. Today was a lot more interesting than my other days of clinic. Today I was the operator and the procedure that I did was scaling and root planing of the upper left and of the upper right. So it was exciting because I got to do two quads in one day. I didn't think I would get to do that, but that is nice because I don't have to bring the patient back on another day to do the last quad. Uh, the other exciting thing about today was that I injected local anesthesia. I did a PSA nerve injection on both the right and the left, and then I just used topical for the rest. But that was exciting because, I don't know, I haven't done local in a long time. I just assisted another scaling and root planing it was pretty uneventful. Today, we didn't do much because we had to dismiss the patient because the blood pressure was too high, but we did take some radiographs and 
I learned a lot about patient assessment. So that was interesting. We were supposed to schedule the same, the same patient for tomorrow to finish doing a cleaning. But since the blood pressure situation is not going to be resolved by tomorrow, that means we won't have a patient for tomorrow. So we're just going to be runners. Yay. I just finished my third week of clinic. It is Friday. Today I was assisting someone in my class and it was her first time doing a class two filling, which was exciting. And it turned into a bigger filling. So what I mean by that is that there was a lot of caries. So we removed all the caries. The pulp got exposed due to the caries. And then we had to call the endo faculty over and excurpated and put some medication in there and then temporize the tooth with Fuji. So that was exciting. It is past five now and I get to enjoy this weekend. This weekend is actually a special weekend because I'll be getting married on Sunday. So I am very excited for this weekend. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm literally my own PBL case. So I just got done at the endodontics office and they took a CBTC scan, CBCT scan, and I believe a pano, and I have them right here. Um, and basically what the diagnosis for right now is just myofacial pain since he found a trigger point in my mass setter muscle. Uh, there was one point where it was tender. I don't know why I couldn't find this myself. Like I've been touching my face all the time to see if any of my muscles are sore, but I haven't found anything. I don't know how he was able to do it. Okay, I'm gonna head home now, but I just wanted to say that this endo office was so nice and I kind of want to like specialize in endo maybe. I'm kind of really interested because it, it, his office was super nice, like the microscopes, like all the technology, like I was able to have a diagnostic test right then and there. And I don't know, I can see myself just doing root canals all day, I think. I don't know, I'm kind of interested in it now. I just don't know how it will work with the Navy. Like if I'm, I know I'm allowed to specialize, but if I have to like tell them, I don't, I'm not really sure how it works just because I know I'm already committed to serving four years in the military. And if I specialize, I'll have to do a couple more years. So I have to research that, but currently I am interested in endodontic specialty. Okay, let me just tell you a little bit about what myofacial pain is from what I know. Let's make this a learning experience. So myofacial pain is pain in one of the muscles. So you have muscles of mastication, which include your masseter muscles, which is here, your temporalis, and your uh, medial and lateral pterygoids. At night, it seems like I clench a lot. And reasons why I could be clenching a lot could be because I am stressed. I don't physically feel stressed, but sometimes my body is stressed and in my mind, like my head isn't really stressed. But I have to be honest with myself, maybe I am stressed. I did just start third year back up after being out of school for many, many months. And I did just have a wedding. So a lot of things have changed. There probably has been some stressors in my life, um, but it's okay. I'm seeing my therapist this Friday. <laughs> so anyways, with this myofacial pain, usually you can detect a trigger point. So there'll be one point in the muscle that feels more tender than the other points. And that point is like a point that elicits more pain. To be honest, I can't really feel it. He, the endodontist was like feeling inside my mouth and it did feel a lot different when he felt the other side. So you guys just learned a little bit about myofacial pain. It's pretty painful and it's ongoing and it doesn't stop until the trigger is removed. So right now my trigger seems to be my clenching. So until I receive my occlusal guard, which is going to be a week from now, it seems like this pain is going to be ongoing. It's about 5 p.m. I just finished meditating because apparently I'm very stressed, even though in my mind I don't feel stressed. Um, 
I'm having some tea and it says wifey because I'm a wifey now. <laughs> um, I'm going to practice stress relief more often. You guys should do it too. Now we're walking a dog. This cutie pie is very shy, so I have to walk far enough so he kind of forgets where he lives because he'll just want to go back home. But if you saw in my previous video, I am a part-time dog walker and it's a lot of fun. So my husband and I are going on a walk. Oh, are you ready to walk, doggy? Good morning, it is Tuesday. It's almost 8 a.m. It's 7.59 and I have PBL on Zoom at 8 a.m. So I'm gonna log on to that right now. I'm on my way to school because I'm gonna practice taking some radiographs, but I'm already like 10 minutes late. So we'll see if they let me. I am so out of it. If they don't let me, I'm gonna see if maybe I can assist someone. We'll see. Well, I'm 20 minutes late, but it seems like I'm the only one practicing today. All right, it's 3.30. I finished practicing in radiology. I did a full FMX just for practice because we're gonna have to do it on patients and I just haven't practiced in a long time. And then afterwards, since I had extra time, I went to go see if I can shadow in the endo clinic in the advanced endodontics clinic. And I was able to shadow they were practicing um, apical surgery, which was actually really cool um, on Tybodonts, but it was really cool to see. So I was there maybe for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours, just observing, uh, seeing if endo still interests me. And so far it's pretty cool. We are making burgers for dinner. We just got this oven for, our wedding and it's cooking burgers. I didn't know ovens can do that. It is Wednesday. I just got to school almost 7.30. I'm running a little bit late, so I'm gonna get going. Today, I think I'm doing a removable case. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm assisting a removable case, I believe. I just finished clinic. Today was kind of fun. We did a removable case. I assisted. Um, I poured up a cast in Yellowstone and I haven't done that in a super long time. And today we were taking impressions to make a muco, so like a temporary partial denture. These half days of clinic are so great because I have the entire day left to do stuff. I'm going on another dog walk because sometimes they pop up and it just makes sense because it's $21 for an hour walk and I should get some exercise anyway so I'm basically getting paid to exercise so I'm down for it but look at these cutie pies hi cuties oh my gosh you're so cute and this other one where are you cutie patooties it's Thursday I just got to clinic I have to set everything up and then go to my locker and today I have a patient screening today did not really work out so I just finished with my day on Thursday. My patient had high blood pressure and it was a screening appointment and we're not allowed to see patients on the second floor if their blood pressure is high. So, so we had to dismiss them. Another appointment wasted. Ah, it was such a nice, the person was such a nice patient too so it kind of sucked but afterwards i went to the endo clinic and assisted a little bit but uh the resident was basically almost done with the root canal and now it's like 10 30. i am home now having a sandwich for lunch and of course waiting for joseph to come home for lunch it's almost 1 p.m and i don't know where he is so i'm having lunch alone and i have been using this face roller I was super against face rollers like a month ago because I was like, why would you need a thing to roll your face with? But since I've been having this facial pain, I have been using this face roller to roll out my mass setter muscle and my temporalis and just all of my facial muscles because there's so many of them. And I actually really recommend a face roller. It feels very nice. I had a meeting with my GPD today at 2.30. It was like a 30 minute Zoom meeting. 
and we talked about my progress in clinic and how that's going and um, she assigned me some more patients so that's good because I was kind of running out of patients and then my dentist called me and said that my night guard came in so I'm at my dentist and I have my new night guard which I'm really excited about because I'm hoping that this will solve the pain that I've been having. So I'm back home now and since I just got some patients transferred to me, I'm just going to be calling those new patients that I got and scheduling some dental appointments. My husband and I are having salmon with pasta for dinner and we made it in this new oven and it is delicious and it was so easy to make. It was easy for me because I didn't make it. I just bought it and he made it. So I'm at my friend's house. Her name is Mayan. We went to college together. Hello. This, this is her over here. And her and her sister are starting a podcast. <laughs> yeah, Erica really gets me because she's creative too and likes Aww. to produce and create. And what's the podcast called? It's called Catharsis and it's a podcast about the meaning of life and it's in production. So stay tuned for it. And how can they find it? Um, Spotify? Just search Catharsis. Or just comment soon. on this video and it'll probably be launched in like November or December. That sounds like so much fun. So if you're interested in exploring the meaning of life, definitely subscribe to Catharsis. Mm -hmm. I'm subscribing. Well, you can follow me also on Sisters in Psychology. Me and my sister. That's our Instagram account. Yeah, follow them. They're cool. And um, I came here to bring her an announcement card, like a wedding announcement card. And she lives super close to me. So that's really fun. Good morning. It is Friday. I am pouring up my coffee and I'm about to jump on a telehealth call with my therapist. Um, yeah. He sends me a link and then I put it on my computer and then we talk about how I'm doing for an hour. So it's 6 p.m. and I just finished with my day in clinic. Today was actually one of the most productive clinic days that I've had. I didn't even operate, but I learned a lot. So today I assisted in online delivery and I learned a lot. <laughs> so let me tell you some things that I learned. First of all, I just like got to observe the steps and I got to see everything that we need to get from the dispensary, so that was helpful. This patient, the impression for the onlay was taken pre-COVID, so this patient didn't have a provisional, didn't have a temporary in their tooth for so many months, maybe like five months, uh, so the teeth shifted over, so we had to adjust a lot of the contacts in order for the onlay to fit. So that was a learning experience. Of course, I was assisting, so I wasn't the one doing the adjustments, but it was still interesting for me to observe and learn. And then also the mesial contact was open afterwards. So we closed the contact um, with some adhesive and the instructions were given by the by the faculty of course but i got to observe that as well so that was a good learning experience and then when adjusting the occlusion when i saw bullseye marks that meant it was hyper occluded i didn't really understand what bullseye meant so when the articulating paper gets put in the patient's mouth and then it's like red and then if it's like white on the center that's a bullseye so that means it's hyper occluded so those are some things that I learned today. It was fun. I felt like a real dental assistant, <laughs> dentist in training. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hopefully it was interesting. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, thanks for watching.